pause that refreshes. Uh, yeah, I must say, look like a terrible drunkard and pothead, but I swear to you, yeah, uh, I'm not terrible. I'm actually very good at it. Um, been like a almost a month, I think, since I've. I don't know, since the last video. Anyway, why do you think I do these videos? All right, I believe I left off on verse 16 of uh, section 121 of the DNC. <coughs> Joey's in jail. He's, uh, he's not at liberty in liberty. Uh, <laughs> um, 16. Cursed are all those that shall lift up the heel against mine anointed, saith the Lord. And cry they of sin when they have not sinned, uh, sinned before me. Saith the Lord, but have done that which was meat in mine eyes and which I commanded them. Sounds like hillbilly Shakespeare, doesn't it? Uh, 17. <laughs> I apologize to hillbillies. They're much more sophisticated than this. Hey, some of my favorite people are hillbillies. Okay, don't get mad. I live on a hill right now. <sighs> 17. But those who cry transgression do it because they are the servants of sin and are the children of disobedience themselves. So it takes one to know one and they give one another pass because they're all bad and it's a conspiracy against you, Joey. I mentioned Joey is writing this from prison, right? In Liberty. 18. And those who swear falsely against my servants, that they might bring them into bondage and death, 19, woe unto them, because they have offended my little ones, <laughs> that they sh <laughs> little ones, <laughs> because they have offended my little ones, they shall be severed from the ordinances of mine house. So they don't have to follow the rules because they're not part of your house, but they're also 86, I guess. And it, try and interpret this. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. 20. Their basket shall not be full. Their houses and their barns shall perish. I guess that means they're going to kill all the kids and the livestock. And, yeah, aren't you? Or they're just killing the barn. I don't know. I don't know what the, why the barn deserves to. I guess, you know, yeah, you're going to go hungry. We killed your barn. And they themselves shall be despised by those that flattered them. And the joke's going to be on them then, right? They're going to be so sorry they weren't nice to you. He's writing this from prison. It's a prophecy. He didn't have anything else better to do, so it's been a while since his last, uh, I think. Anyway, um, 21. They shall not have right to the priesthood, nor their posterity after them, from generation to generation. For how, just from then on? So like a thousand years in the future, you know, that family's still going to be like under this. This hoodoo hex. That's just so fucking cool. Must be great to be a wizard. Anyway, 
I just cursed your whole DNA line. Twenty-two. It had been better for them that a millstone had been hanged about their necks, and they drowned in the depths of the sea. That sure sounds familiar. I'm not even going to look at these citations. I can't see them that good. Uh, and I don't want to wear glasses. It. I hate wearing glasses. Got to get LASIK. That, that's what I'm going to do when I can afford it. 23. Woe unto all those that discomfort my people and drive and murder and testify against them, saith the Lord of hosts. A generation of vipers shall not escape the damnation of hell. So fuck you very, very much. All you people that were nice to us and let us have our way under the rule of which was always. <coughs> 24. Behold, mine eyes see and know all their works, and I have in reserve a swift judgment in the season thereof. What does that mean? <laughs> When it finally happens, it's going to be swift. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's read that one again. Behold, mine eyes see and know all their works, and I have in reserve, he's reserving it, a swift judgment in the season thereof, for them all. Wow. That's so precise. 25. For there is a time appointed for every man according to his works shall be. You know, I keep getting told it's not about works. And and it's about faith, and then I get told, no, not faith, but works. Uh, not completely faith, but works, because, I mean, just hang, sitting around believing all the time doesn't get anything done. <sighs> all right. 26. God shall give unto you knowledge by the Holy Spirit, yea, by the unspeakable gift of the Holy Ghost. That has not been revealed since the world was. Wait. That has not been revealed since the world was until now. So he's been saving it for you guys. Like a fine vintage. Uh, this makes so much sense. 27. Which our forefathers have awaited with anxious expectation to be revealed in the last times, which is still going on and will continue to as long as people are around and believe in silly shit. Which their minds were pointed to by the angels which held in reserve for the fullness of their glory. <sighs> mm. 28. A time to come in the which nothing shall be withheld, whether there be one God or many gods, They shall be manifest. Wow. Chew on that one for a bit. Let's ruminate. So is he a Christian or a deist? Joseph Smith, one God or many. That sounds like what? Um, Voltaire. 
<laughs> oh God, if there is one, save my soul. If I have one. <laughs> so fucking precise. I'm going to pause there because that's fucking awesome. One God or many gods, they shall be manifest. To be continued, I like breaking these up, I think. You might have had enough, so if so, and I don't blame you, and have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having, no hard feelings. But I'm going to keep doing this, so I hope you'll follow. If not, bye.